Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. So today I am doing a swipe piece and I'm going to be using some crushed glass to embellish it. The colors that I'm using today I did not choose. These are colors that I am testing for a large commission piece. And the colors are Rose Gold and Silver Mist by The Color Cottage. And then Rich Gold Pinata Alcohol Ink. And the white that I'm using is just a regular white craft paint. And you're going to see with these swipes that I'm going to get a lot of really awesome cells. And everyone always asks, um, how do you do that? Especially with a craft paint because you think that you might need like a silicone based paint or something. That is not the case. What you need is a good torch. I use a lot of heat for my swipes and I find that you get some really amazing results like that. And when you're doing swipes, and if you're going to be using a lot of heat with resin, you want to make sure that you always back your canvas. Or I like to do it on um, boards. I think I'm going to be doing the actual commission piece on a board so that I don't have to worry about the resin heating up and sinking to the middle so much. But I really love the way this piece turned out, and I actually really love the colors together. I don't know if this is a color combination I would have done by myself. So let me know what you guys think of this color combo. My next video is another color combo for the same commission. She hasn't chose which one she wants yet. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. For the swipe, I am using freezer paper. That's what I use for all of my swipes. It's just, I like it. I think that it works best. So I am using freezer paper for the swipes and then the torch to just heat up the resin. And this time for my alcohol ink, if you've seen a lot of my other videos, then you know uh, I don't mix my alcohol ink with resin. But for this one, I did because I didn't want it to take over the piece because her actual colors that she wanted were the gray and the rose gold. So I didn't want the gold to be too bright and take over everything else. So while I was mixing my resin, I had a little spill and I ended up using a lot more gloves than I needed to and I ran out. But I do want to remind everybody to please wear gloves and wear a face mask when working with resin. I just feel a little bad for having a video without wearing gloves. So remember everyone, PPE when you're working with resin please. I'm going to be adding the crushed glass after this piece has been completely done and after it's set for probably 30 minutes to an hour because I'm using stone coat resin so it takes um, a long time to cure and I don't want the glass pieces to be sinking or moving so I'm going to wait a little bit before I add most of the glass pieces and also you want to see how your resin is going to set up because we all know that resin can kind of move and have a mind of its own so I definitely want the glass pieces to go with the flow of the piece so I won't be adding that till later on. If you guys have any questions about materials or about the technique that I'm using, you can ask them in the comments below. I try to answer all of the questions that I can. And as always, in my description, I will have a list of all of the materials that I used in this piece and other materials that I use on a regular basis. And I have links to where you can see more info about those or purchase them if that is something that you're interested in. All of the links, most of them are Amazon, some of them go to certain websites. If you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe to see more artwork. And as always, guys, I appreciate your support so much. And if you want to see more about me and what I'm doing ahead of time for my videos, you can find me on Instagram, WanderingArt816, or on Facebook at WanderingArt. And have a great day, guys. Let me know what you think of the piece and of this color combo. And I will catch you all later. Bye.